Hi, I, I just wanted to post this as a video response to David Mitchell on Scots Gaelic because I noticed that in the comments people were starting to talk about the Irish language and I tried to reply but then my replies were too long so I thought, ah sure, I'll do a video response, yay! Anyway, um, I'm an avid supporter of the Irish language and so I don't really want to just like rub people up the wrong way who just hate it completely but I do want to just get my point across and if you'd listen to me, I'd really appreciate it. I would know, but like, you know, I'd still appreciate it. Anyway, um, the thing about the Irish language is that it is quite a personal thing to a lot of people. People who grow up with it as a language, although it's just, it's normal to them, it's one of those things that because they know that it's so... My, it's such a minority speaker and it's declining they want to keep it alive the thing is is that people who go to a Gael school in an all Irish school from junior infants onwards it does give them an advantage to learning a second language well a third language even at that stage and which would help them you know in secondary school when they're learning other languages also I mean people who look down upon the fact that some parents send their children to all Irish schools purely from a points view that they'll do really well in Irish and they're leaving search or they'll go to an all Irish secondary school as well and they can do all their languages through Irish I mean all their subjects through Irish and get more points then that's not that I mean they're still learning the language they're fluent speakers now and they're getting slightly more points in the leaving makes it a bit easier for them to get into college not much easier but still a bit I mean you know it could just be five points that makes a difference so I, I think that's very good anyway and the thing is is that a lot of the economy in the Gweltalk areas does come in from people going to the, the summer colleges during the summer and um, if that stops if they have to close down people are going to move out of the Gweltalk areas because it won't be feasible to live there and they'll have to just you know live in English speaking areas which would be sad because even if they speak it at home and they send their children to Gael school now, it will die out because I mean, think about it, those children might meet someone who just doesn't speak any Irish whatsoever and end up marrying them, having kids with them. Even if they send them to Gael school now, they may not be able to speak it at home. The children may not find it as important in some way because just both their parents... If it wasn't really encouraged to them as much as a proper first language is, or if their parents don't properly support the fact that they're going to an all Irish school and doesn't get encouraged, they just they won't care and it will die out. I think it's really sad because I mean it is a very personal thing and it is a such a cultural identity thing. It is really useful because I mean in Ireland, we get so many English newspapers, English television, and so on, that we're practically English. We go on holidays, and then we get really insulted when people think that we're English. But I mean, I mean, we can't really blame them. We do seem pretty English. I don't think there's anything wrong with English people, but people like Irish people like to have their own little identity. So you do hear Irish people, even if they're absolutely terrible at Irish, they will speak it. They'll speak absolutely terrible Irish. They'll make up words. They'll throw a few English ones in with just like Irish endings. It's like, oh yeah, I'm egg walk oil down the street or whatever. But it's grand because like, I mean, people don't really understand them then in the foreign country. And it's like, ah, oh, secret language. You could even do that within Ireland and not that many people would understand you depending on where you are. I mean, in Dublin even, people were heard speaking Irish at a bus stop and some random or passing said, get back to your own country. The other thing is, is that we get an awful lot of American television. Now, in other countries, American television gets dubbed. And it, in the dubbings, it gets adapted to suit the country a bit better and, and their culture and so on. So they don't really lose that much they don't lose anything really like or see more they wouldn't see as much of american culture as we do and you do hear people in ireland who just have american accents because they've watched far too much american television and they act the same way the people on television do and it's a bit ridiculous and i have nothing against america or americans 
I think they do make I mean although they make some terrible shows they make some really good shows as well and some really good like films and they have good books and stuff I'm not going to go America bashing or anything I'm not anti-American or whatever but we do gain a lot of their culture and in doing so we're losing a lot of their own our own which is sad because it makes the world world a more interesting place if everyone has their own different culture and people enjoy the Irish culture it's looked at it's kind of frowned upon and seen as uncool but anyone who's been to a really really strict well talked or like an all Irish school then you'll kind of you'll get more of an influence from the music and the singing and the dancing and okay fair enough if you tried it and you don't like it it's not for you I'm not going to blame you but like I hate people who just they've never even tried and they're like oh that's so uncool that's so boring oh my god and the same with classical music actually as well I hate people who hate classical music for no reason but some people tried it and they went from thinking it's really uncool and boring and now they really enjoy it and it just shows like you should really give like okay in fairness everything you should give a chance not just Irish but I'm just saying it is good to put a bit of e- put a bit of money into Irish it's not like burning the money it's not dying if anything it's coming back from the dead in Ireland it more all Irish schools are opening people are starting to go to the Gaeltacht more it has been heard being spoken in the street and they although they're not great at it they're improving at making it accessible for younger people and it's promoting it and it's good so I think it's really stupid to just say no 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 just don't bother putting any money into it because if you put money into anything really and spend it right you can make a difference it's just the way they're spending it the way they're teaching it in schools at the moment although I know the fifth years this year have an absolutely amazing Irish course and they don't have to do Star Nguelga, they don't have to do On Trail and I'm stuck with like 18 poems or something, I don't know, I didn't count them actually but it's just so many poems for higher level and a play and then Irish history and it's like oh god, like as much as I find it interesting it's not very good for people who just haven't learned to speak the language yet because you go into secondary school and they expect you to remember everything you've ever learned from primary school which isn't really great because you know you don't remember anything from primary school really you have to go over it in secondary school you have to revise it if they had like a language course for from first year onwards that taught it the same way you teach like german or french or spanish or whatever be grand sure but they don't so it's shit but yeah Put money into the language, I say, and spend it right, and you'll see it flourish. You will see it flourish, and I promise that. Anyway, that's just my points. And if you like my video, or even if you didn't because you hate Irish or something and you just wanted to see what this was, I promise not all my videos are about Irish, you should click subscribe. Just click subscribe up there. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to all my videos. <gasps> It'll be richer. Anyway, bye.